You're going to make it. It kind of escalated quickly, didn't it? Where are we going? Are we going to the racetrack? No. Yes, we no. are. Happy Saturday, everybody. Let me show you what we got here. A mess in the back of Sean's truck. But we are heading to the track. We're going to take these kids down here, take their power wheels, and let them burn off some steam. Much needed. It's been a little rainy this week. That's the deal. We're going to come back and maybe grill some burgers this evening. But right now, let's go to the track. You guys, we are sitting here waiting on Sean. He had to run to the gas station real quick. Let me show you my, my fancy bag that I got here and the kids' stuff. Look here. Got a banana, peanut butter crackers, yoo-hoo. <laughs> we only live like five minutes from the track. So I had to... What? Are they riding a four-wheeler? You want a cookie? You mean a cracker? Ain't no cookie. I got peanut butter crackers and banana. Banana? Uh-huh. What do you think, Bubba? Say, where's Daddy? Is he coming? I don't think Sean knew that I had stopped and got stuff, or I had got stuff in the house to drink for the kids and things, so that's probably why he went to the gas station. We sitting here waiting on it. Sean's got the key to the gate, so. We're just gonna sit here and wait for Dad. We're just waiting on Daddy still, ain't we? Is that a good cookie? Is that a good cookie, sis? Yes. Yes. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> they got away from Sean for a second. Drive them, Cheesy. Oh, well. Push the gas. You want out of this jalopy? <laughs> Here, why don't you come ride the little four-wheeler? You gotta hold the wheel. Drive it. Everybody get off the road. Well, that lasted a whole five seconds. You know what? Oh, he's going back. Hey, watch this. That car is made for big people. Too. No, that's not. That one ain't. Watch this. Megan, you're going to break it. Oh, y'all going to ride now? <laughs> yeah, that's not the big one I showed you. They're getting in it. They'll get in it. Bob. Bob, come on. Scoot over, sis. <laughs> All right. Now, look. One of you's got to drive this car. Okay. Nobody ain't getting their license ever. Hey, you didn't even shut your door. I can guarantee you this, this is not the first set of kids to learn to ride a power wheel down here or a bicycle. This summer, we're gonna bring their bicycles. Once they get a little bigger, because they're still a little bit too small for the bikes they got, we're gonna teach them how to ride the bicycle down here. Now look at this, it's looking totally different now. It's looking like a racetrack. Listen, I got some footage the other day of me pulling that big tire around the track. I shared a little bit of that with y'all before Megan wipes the kids out. <laughs> Listen, this is too fast. That's only two wheel drive. Oh my god. Get that thing in four wheel. Until somebody watch it. learns how to drive. Push it, Bubba. Go, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> this slowest thing down, so. I'm gonna see what you do. Pull out and see what it does. This could be really cool or really bad really quick. Go with it. Hang on, Sean. Pretty tight. There you go. Pull this forward. This ground's on level, so we. Let, let's see. I wanna see if it touches. Cause I don't wanna just touch them. The chain's taking all the BS. She's cam to death, Jeremiah. That'll work. Do your lap. Pop 
Ozzy track on the Plymouth work. It just does. I think he's stuck. He says negative, sir. Crush it, homie. He picked up something. He's got a pinner to winner right now, Bob. <laughs> Just making bumps right now. Get in with it, Jeremiah. We're doing it at the hillbilly way. What else can I say? Now we got a grader coming, guys. We're just kind of doing this to start breaking it up, getting it ready. Oh, we're sideways. I think we need to drag the tire for a minute first. Yeah, I think we need to drag the tire for a minute. Yeah, it's going. Come go on. ahead, go ahead. Think it'll be all right? Yeah, it'll be all right. It ain't going nowhere. Dude, it's got plenty more from the ground sitting. That's what's going to take. There we go. Better moving now. Over now. <laughs> I love it. See it. Real old steak motor. Thing up here behind you, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's thirsty, baby. Run her till the wheels fall off. That's what happens when you do it the hillbilly way, though. <laughs> we get through it, baby. Hey, we get it's through. a small setback. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. It's Jeremiah's fault. <laughs> Facts. Mm -hmm. I was filming. Mm -mm. You were stuck in the mud. <laughs> You know, I never thought it'd be my girl that likes to play in dirt more than my boy, Colton, you guys. He does like it, but the older he's getting, he's like, yuck. I think it's a sensory thing for him, but she loves it. Daddy, what kind of weird bug no, juice did you it, get it, them? It took her a minute. It was just a shock where the lid's still on it, I think. Yeah. Is that good? This is the stuff they'll remember forever, though. Yeah. So you want me to call Hawkins and call food in? Yeah, I'd like to have some hogs. Like what, though? Double cheese, bacon cheeseburger and fries. A lot of you still question this, but this Isom community, I remember it since I was probably Colton size. 30 some, 40 years ago, mom started selling t-shirts at the Isom flea market. That's where her store actually started at. This is the area I was always in. I was eating at these little restaurants, these mom and pop places like Holcomb's Dairy Bar and you know Joe Pack's Chicken. And this track helps those businesses that I remember and still been owned by the same people. If not Big the same people, the same family. As long as I can, can remember. Can I ask you a question? What? I may not be fancy enough, y'all, but I have never seen this water before. Is that weird? Just like regular <laughs> <It's> water. water. <laughs> I ain't never seen this water before. I mean, it's what they have. I I've don't do Dasani. I've got stuck Dasani on Fiji water. And... I've been drinking Fiji water for years. 
Uh, you talking about fancy? This Fiji's taste, fancier than probably this is. It is, but you know what? Listen, y'all, I can drink a lot of different waters and do not feel hydrated. Fiji and just gallon jugs of spring water is the only two things I water that I've drunk so far that makes me feel hydrated. Um, yeah, he's Mister. Your truck with juice. No, he's pouring it on it and licking it off the bumper. Bubba, yeah. See, I told you. Bubba. That'll make you sick. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Golly, is that hard work? Oh. Woo. <laughs> That's hard work. That's a big old track, ain't it? Bum. Woo. You tired? <laughs> That's a big dozer. This is so nice. We can just let them walk around all this room to just walk. And explore. Is this cool? Yeah. Maybe one day we'll get you out here on a motorcycle. Does that yeah. sound fun? Yeah. And that's hard work. Hi, baby girl. Hey, you. I wash your hands. Oh, you're washing your hands? Gosh. Oh boy. Ew. Uh huh. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh no, don't you come over here with that. Oh, Colton, yuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> hey. Here, go wipe it on daddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I got it on camera. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! 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 Get him, Bubba, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, run through it. Wash your hands, Bubba. Don't wash your hands. Riding home in diapers and pull up. Oh, oh, yuck. Don't even think of it. Don't think of it. Don't think of it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No way. No way. Yuck. No way. If there's been a water hole on this track, they have found it. Hey, you are a mess. Ah! <laughs> he has been chasing us. The entire time he has got muddy. Here he comes. He's gonna go get him some more. Get him a little recharge. <laughs> and then here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought she was going in face first. <laughs> Stop, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's literally like, hey, you're doing too much, son. Those muck boots was a good investment, I have to say, after all. Still fit them good. We're going to pass Chloe's down. To somebody else and then tell them to do the same and then Colton's is going to go to Chloe's and then when Chloe's grown out of them we're going to pass them down again and tell them to pass them down those boots will make, benefit a lot of children are you enjoying yourself you like mud is this pretty cool you like the racetrack don't you a place a kid can be a kid it is coming along nicely. 
motocross track is ready. Dirt track. Won't be long. Did you eat it? Here, get yourself a drink. Is it better? <laughs> you probably shouldn't eat dirt. <laughs> Did you learn a lesson? <laughs> One more. <laughs> you need more? Ew. Ooh, yeah. Well, don't eat it. <laughs> oh, no. Since she found a bigger water hole, didn't she? Yeah, she's been laying down in it. <laughs> That's what you call be being a kid. That's what you call a awesome core memory right here. Cause they'll... We used to take water hose and spray it in our yard and pluck the grass up. All of us would kick it around, but we would run and slide through it when I was little. We had mud fights. Like, we got completely covered. But yes, this is, they'll remember this the rest of their lives. Oh, Bubba decided to eat him a big mouthful. Oh, no, did he really? Didn't you hear him gagging? Well, I've got some old bottles of water in my truck. We could rinse our hair out and then take a... Uh, I think that would make that part worse. I'd rather just get her home and shower that off in the shower. <laughs> Bubba, stop doing your... Get him, Chloe. Get him, Chloe. Get him. Do it. Get him. Rub it right down his face. <laughs> Rub it right down his face, sissy. Get your big handful. Watch him run now. She's fighting back. <laughs> hey, we're going. Wait, she said. Oh, no. Go get him, sissy. Run. Oh, no. Chloe, right there. Coming behind you. Get him. Get him, Momo. <laughs> you going to make it? It kind of escalated quickly, didn't it? Yeah, it's never a good idea to consume that much dirt. Look at your hair. Look at your face. Look at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Child. Let's go. Come on. Oh no. So you're going to tell me. Wow. You got yourself muddy. Now <laughs> you're being grumpy about it. You ready to go home take a bath? You look like you got turtle skin. You got so much... <laughs> Mud caked up on you. Look at your hands. He's ready to go home and get in the shower. Yeah, I need to place a carry out order. Okay, good friend. Um, I need uh two double bacon yeah, two double bacon cheeseburgers with uh ketchup, mustard and pickles. Give me a regular cheeseburger with ketchup, two large order of fries, uh give me two orders of the chicken nuggets. Megan, do you want anything else? What'd you give me? The burger? Yeah. And that'll do it. Yeah. All right, thank you much. It's easy. I really need that over there. <laughs> well, honey, it's got to go in the truck. <laughs> Listen, y'all, that's not an easy thing to push by no means. <laughs> so she's a little brute. I forgot the peanut butter milkshakes. There it is, y'all. Holcomb's custard stand. I guess a little roadside dairy bar I've literally remember since I was Colton's age. Like I said, I'll show you the flea market here when I pull out. I forgot to order the milkshakes down there, so I went ahead and ordered the milkshakes after I got my pickup order. It was super quick, and they're busy too. Like, you got people over here, you got people over here waiting. Like, this little place, it's good. Let me tell you, if you're ever in the Isom community, just search Hawkins Custard Stand. It's places like this that motivate me and Donnie to push this farther and try to save that track because when that track does good, these businesses do good. Right over here is the flea market, y'all. Right there, that shed, that very first shed is where my mom's store started out. I spent a lot of my childhood at that place. My grandpa even set up down there selling tools and knives and all that. So this whole area right here in the track is only maybe a mile right up the road. So this whole area here does kind of, I have a sentimental attachment to it because it's, when I'm down here, I feel like I did when I was younger. It's, it just feels like being home. I'd like to see this community thrive again. And right up here too, y'all, is a killer boot store. They sell anything about, you know, work, but they also sell like Levi's, Lee, all kinds of different shoes. So you see the red wing boot sign, but 
shoes, clothes, uh, a lot of UK and Kentucky apparel. Kids clothing, I remember a lot of times, you know, when I was growing up, my, my shoes and my boots and my pants and stuff all come from John B. Adams. It's actually cool to know that, you know, that long, it's one of the smaller department stores, family owned, that made it through, you know, places like Walmart closing a lot of these, uh, smaller family businesses down and that's what i like to see and that's what i want to help us individuals we can make the change we can set the new normal it's up to us do we support the big guys or do we support the small guys oh yeah don't think i forgot their milkshakes i got their milkshakes looks like you're eating ketchup you're eating a cheeseburger now here's what i like about Holcomb's cheeseburger you can get it dressed any way you want it, but that right there is literally a burger patty just like you fry at the house. They patty them themselves. Look at the size of this. I actually look at the size. I know, it's a monster. That's a, a big burger. And it tastes so good. Like I said, it's not no frozen patty they pull out of a box and throw oh, on a grill. It just It's a hamburger patty just like you make at home super good all right so we're getting one of these weird winters that you always get in appalachia right now this is sunday morning and it's i mean yesterday it was nice and warm and today it's cold and windy i think it's in the 50s but y'all i wanted to show you this got the strawberry started these are all red strawberries two different ones an ever sweet and a honey something i can't remember the name of it actually these right here are your white pineberry strawberries. And then over in here is some yellow alpine strawberries. Like it's the kids' favorite snacks. They love strawberries better than anything. So I wanted to take that as a chance to do a life lesson and show the kids where strawberries come from that you can grow them yourself with a little time and patience. But with that happening, we're getting ready to do this. We are leveling out this section of the yard and building us a little fenced in garden area. I've already got two of the raised beds ordered. I'm just waiting on them to come. So like I said, I told y'all before, we're doing this and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I think it's gonna be a good thing, especially for the kids. They can learn to grow their own food. You know, we'll start it out small and then work our way up to a, a bigger one possibly. But for now, that's gonna work. We'll be able to grow plenty of food there because Two of the garden beds are big, flat, like a three by seven. And another one I'm gonna order later is a three tier system to where we can grow things all the way down on that. I think that's gonna be the best situation and solution for our little garden, but that should be coming up next week or so. Just waiting on the garden beds to come and then I'm gonna go get everything and start to work on it. Let's go see what this bunch is doing this morning. To look at this. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna say this now. This is a set in the house kind of day. It's cold. It's a not go outside. You guys, I don't know what happened. It's like we hit summer for two weeks and then boom, we're back into winter. Like I said, it's these weird winters. We got some lights to go up here. If you see them, they are not pink is what's weird. Yeah. But on the camera, camera, they look pink. look pink. Did you learn about semicircles? Did you learn, he's been learning new shapes on his I reset their tablets and got new learning games on it, but he's been doing trapezoids today and crescents and semicircles. He's done really good. It was like matching them on the spot. But all right, we're gonna leave y'all here with our pink lights over the counter. They're not I pink. Promise. They look pink on camera. They do, but they're not. They look like a warm yellowish orange light. To yeah. your eyes, but on camera they look pink. I don't know. We needed to brighten the kitchen up for the video some. It helped a little bit. Maybe get some to go what under the counters. I don't know. But we love y'all. We're going to leave you here. And until the next time, stay positive. Stay country, guys. And stay true to your roots. Bye.